Well, I wrote The Rise and Triumph of the Modern Self neither as a polemic nor as a lament concerning the sexual revolution, but as an attempt to explain to Christians and other interested parties as to why the sexual revolution has happened so fast, or apparently happened so fast, and why it has taken the specific forms it has. To do that, I go back several hundred years, and I set the whole thing in a much broader context of how human beings understand themselves, how that understanding of the self has changed over the centuries. And I culminate in, the, uh, in, in an examination of transgenderism. Uh, what I'm trying to do is to weave the whole thing together as a coherent story in a way that will help Christians engage more effectively with perhaps friends who are LGBTQ+, and certainly understand why the world is and thinks the way it does at this particular point in time.